Sea of Thieves has been a long time coming. Fans have been stoked for the action adventure pirate Xbox One game since it was announced back at E3 in 2015. In the following year, developer Rare launched an insider program that gave select players the opportunity to explore an in development version of the game. Since then, players have started to notice that developers have been leaving their mark, literally, with Easter eggs with gamer tags that have been immortalized in certain places within the game, honoring certain members who aided them in the community with this initial testing. While this video definitely isn't a comprehensive list of all the Easter eggs that you'll be able to find in Sea of Thieves, it's definitely a start. And as we dive into the game over the next few weeks, more will definitely pop up, so we may do part 2. But in the meantime though, let's count down what we know so far with our list of the top 10 easter eggs you missed in Sea of Thieves. Number 10, Lindsay Els. Twitch streamer Lindsay Els got a shout out with this Easter egg. A plaque that reads, Lindsay Els, mind your head, that can be found at the ancient spire outpost above the tavern, the unicorn. This is due to a stream of Lindsay's where she was shot out of a cannon while playing the game. And this happened. And at number 9, Zoram. As with most of the Easter eggs on this list, Zoram's was made in commemoration of a contribution the player made to the Sea of Thieves community. One of several poster Easter eggs to pop up, this tribute to Zoram can be found in Mermaid's Hideaway. Zoram had put in a lot of effort and time into moderating the Sea of Thieves Xbox Club, hence the words on the poster. Join Zoram's infamous Pirate Club. You can find this bad boy located on the southeast cliff of the island on the post next to a damaged building. Up next to number 8, Deathfire. Deathfire got a pretty cool hook painting alongside his gamer tag on a rock in Smuggler's Bay. While there isn't a known reason yet for why Deathfire gets this special commemoration, it's definitely one of the cooler ones, featuring a hook holding a treasure chest with some pretty great font. It's on the southwest beach of Smuggler's Bay. The inner crest of the bay has a tall rock that appears before heading up a grassy path, and that's where it is. And at number 7, Khaki. This gamer tag is carved into a practice target at Galleon's Grave Outpost. This one is slightly shrouded in mystery. The gamer tag has yet to be confirmed, so of course the reason why it exists on the target is unknown as well, although moderators on the Sea of Thieves forum have speculated that it has something to do with high accuracy. You can find it outside the weaponsmith. It's on a practice target that has a bullet hole on the bullseye. And at number 6, Damio Dorima. This one is found at a different outpost, the Golden Sands outpost. You can find this gamer's tag printed on a long piece of parchment that is in the hands of a skeleton. Damio is known for his contributions to the community, as well as his extensive and lengthy feedback. So the long piece of parchment definitely feels fitting. It was found on the northeast side of the Golden Sands outpost, where a water tower is situated. The skeleton is leaning up against the water tower with the long piece of parchment and a quill in its hands. And at number Number 5, Music Me. Rare popped a few wanted posters into the game, and player Music Me was one of the community members who had one made as a tribute. Placed on a water tower located at the Dagger Tooth Outpost, you can find a Wanted of Music Me poster with the text, Wanted for saying pew pew every time they shoot their pistol. Music Me was given this easter egg for not only being a positive and committed member of the community, but for also making a wanted poster generator, using gamer tags and custom Sea of Thieves inspired wanted reasons. And at number 4, the original deck. Hands. This one features multiple gamer tags Pat Truewalker, Knight X13, Runic, The Aaron Lay, and Ion EI Falcon. Etched on a rock in Cannon Cove, these five members received this Easter egg for being the first community moderators, known as the five original deckhands. To find it, when standing on the lone dock facing the island, walk directly forward until you hit an open section of rock, and bam! There you have it. In at number 3, The George and Kraken. Player Clumsy George got a pretty cool easter egg that plays on their gamer tag. The only tavern that exists on Sanctuary Outpost has a sign hanging above the door that reads, The George and Kraken, along with an illustration of the player's trusty broom, which has become a bit of an inside joke amongst the community. George is known for his supportive vibes in the community, and for being quite open with my communication in the game than any other person. In at number 2, The Aaron Lay. The Aaron Lay had made a fan art 3D printed Sea of Thieves coin for Rare at SDCC. 2016, which is pretty damn cool. So naturally, the easter egg made for him featured a coin. His gamer tag was engraved on a barrel lid with a dagger stabbing through an in-game replica of the Sea of Thieves coin that he made. You can find it inside the central cave of the island, up against the back wall. These days, he goes by a different gamer tag, pick a rune. And finally, in at number 1, Griffin McElroy. When new gameplay footage of Sea of Thieves was released during the 2017 E3, a player in the trailer can be seen taking out a banana and eating it, with the peel on, to regain health after a battle. After 
Hundred aired Polygon video producer Griffin McElroy tweeted about it, bringing attention to it. The tweet was so popular that later Polygon tweeted a video of Griffin actually eating a banana in the same way, for a joke, of course, which spawned a meme. So when it came to popping in gamer tags in the game, Rare decided to give Griffin his own, with his name engraved on a rock next to a skeleton eating a banana, all to commemorate him starting the meme. You can find it on the southeast beach of Marauder's Ark before the entrance of the cave. All right, there we have it, friends. Now there's no word as to whether or not these Easter eggs will still exist in the final release game, but it seems likely that they will. So let the hunt begin. There's also a lot of speculation as to whether other famous rare game icons will be making Easter egg appearance too. So tell me what you guys think. Are you excited for this game? Have you already gotten your hands on a copy? Let us know in those comments below. In the meantime, do us a solid and hit that like button if you dug this video. Subscribe if you want to hang out with us some more. And definitely check out some of our other videos on Easter eggs, like the ones in our recently uploaded playlist. In the meantime, thanks for watching everybody. Catch you all in the next one.